Out of the deadly storms down south today, another round of relentless rains expected to target the already waterlogged areas. Days of torrential rainfall have triggered flooding in the lower Mississippi Valley. Some rivers are expected to crest in the next few hours, adding to the trouble. At least three weather-related deaths have been reported. Hundreds of rescues have taken place. David Begno's in Bossier City, Louisiana, where the worst could be still to come. Good morning, David. Anthony, good morning. We're along the Red Shoot Bayou, and when I went live for the CBS Evening News last night, I was standing right here, and there was no water in front of me. And I want you to look at what's happened over the last 12 hours. They say the water has come up about a foot, and it is getting closer and closer to the levee, which is exactly what engineers predicted. Here's where it is. The water is there. The levee is here. And now they say it's just a matter of time before it overtops the levee. Workers and volunteers spent another long day laying down sandbags along a line of homes in Bossier City. But officials say it's only a matter of time before the Red Chute Bayou tops the city's main levee. It is going to come and get you. How deep, we don't know. How long, we don't know. More than 3,500 homes are at risk of flooding here. Because of this week's near record rain, water is rushing downstream into the bayou at a rate of seven to ten times the normal flow. How far is the levee from your backyard? Uh, it's probably three to four hundred yards. Firefighter Josh Wolverton has been rescuing people for two days. Now his home is at risk. We've lived here for six years and I've never seen water standing in the street. Ever. Throughout Louisiana, the rain fell so fast and so hard, it's caught many people off guard. I was told when the water came from the backside, get out. And that's when we started seeing the water come up and we had to hurry and get out. I mean, within 20 minutes, this is what you see. Near New Orleans, more than 200 people were rescued from their home as nearly 10 inches of rain fell Friday morning. Water running in the house, lights going out, kids hollering. It, a catastrophe, put it like that. Back in Bossier City, the work will continue throughout this weekend to keep the rising water away from those homes. I'm trying to save people's homes. Yep. So that's, that's the reason I'm out here. I'm trying to save <laughs> homes. So I could have stayed at home in the bed. Well, uh, he thought you were going to be out here. here. You may be wondering why aren't they using sandbags to line up against this levee to protect the 1600 homes that are west of here. It's because engineers say they just didn't have the time. The rain fell too much too fast and so they couldn't line up 300,000 sandbags. So they say it, it is inevitable. The water will rush over the levee. When it's going to happen, we're told it would be this morning. Now it may be later today, but Vanita on top of the water that is going to flow over the levee, they say there's more rain expected this afternoon. Not a fun waiting game. David Begno in Bossier City, Louisiana this morning. Thank you.